in uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a peeling sticker text effect in Canva. So welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're going to find this video very helpful. Watch this until the very end so you don't miss any step. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe for more. I will really, really appreciate it. It will really mean a lot. It will really uh, make me happy. So thank you guys. And now let me show you what you have to do. So first, we're going to go to text. I'm going to add this text here and change the font to um, this one. No, I don't really have a, a font specifically for, for this tutorial, just a random font I can add. Let's say this one here and sticker. I'm going to write here sticker. And of course, now increase the size of this text. Now I'm gonna right click now on uh, this and click on here, align center, align middle. And I'm gonna remove this logo and remove this as well. Now I have this text here. And of course, I'm gonna click on the text, click on effects. And then I'm gonna click on outline to add an outline. And I'm going to also change this uh, color of this text to uh, this uh, green one. And for the effect, uh, I'll change this to go well with maybe this red. Maybe this uh, a dark. This dark black, you know. So now we're going to have to go to share, download and click on transparent, save and click on download. Now I uploaded this uh, sticker. We just downloaded this image, this transparent image to, uh, I just uploaded that from computer. And now we have this here. Now I can go to edit photo and then I can go to shadow. And here in shadow, I have outline. Now, I don't need any blur and the distance, let's first change this to green, to red and then increase the size, not too much, kind of like this. Now we have this text, nice text here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to, and also let's click on this background to add a background as well. So I'm going to click on the background and add a gradient here. Now I'm click on this and for this one, this grab, select this color here for this one, something uh, bluish color, but more bright, something like this. And now we're going to go to elements and look for paper curl. Let's select this one here. And we're going to have to resize this like so. And now also I'm just going to add actually just use a solid color doesn't really matter that much and I'm going to grab this shape now. I'm going to rotate this shape and move it here uh, like so. So we can move the move with the arrows and then for this color I'm going to click on color and click on this pickup color and select this one. So we had this portion. And now another thing that you can do is go to position layers and we like to select now all these layers. We right click and click on group. And look at this now, we have this really nice design. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave your questions down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Now, another thing that you can do, I just, I just remember right now, something that will make this look more realistic is to go to elements here and look for shadow. 
something like this will work now let's resize this rotate and add this behind this and uh, can use the arrows and now it looks more realistic so uh, by the way I use the shortcut to send to back so you can also use the shortcut to send to back or to bring to front it works uh, it's much faster than going right and then selecting so yeah thanks for watching subscribe for more if you have more questions about canva let me know in the comment section